Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man and welcome to a upcoming winter 2016 anime initial thoughts kind of thing. Uh, I have my buddy Soul Animation here with me right now and the two of us are going to look through this list that you can see on the screen right now, uh, which is all the anime that is coming up for the winter 2016 anime season. So we're going to go through, I guess, each one or the ones that we're kind of interested in to see, you know, what we think about this uh, season that's coming up. Um, so yeah, right, right now we're on anychart.net slash winter, I've left the link in the description below, and um, I guess, yeah, let's uh, let's check through some anime. Is there is there any anime, Soul, that like you've just straight up seen, like on this list right now, that you're interested in? Um, I've definitely watched a couple of the trailers mm -hmm. that I have some that I'm really excited for already. Um, I'm probably, I, I actually kind of already got my list that when I make whatever my top anime video is that I'm gonna do so okay I guess I can talk about my favorite ones already we'll just I'll just um, mention them sure and as we as we go through the list I'll just mention my favorite ones that I already have picked out which probably some of them I guarantee you'll like too. we could probably watch together so sure sure no worries um okay so for me um, straight up the one I'm super super keen for is Ajin um, so it's a it's based off a manga series looks like it's gonna be th 13 episodes um, and I'm pumped for this because I'm actually a big fan of the manga. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, Ajin is based off a, it's, it's pretty much based off, uh, like, immortality. Uh, there are these, like, immortal beings called Ajins, where they're subjected to, like, terrible, uh, human experiments. And the main character, one day he wakes up and he realizes he's an Ajin, but instead of facing, uh, human experimentation, he runs away. So, um... I, I really like the manga series and I'm kind of interested to see what the anime is going to be like especially since it says it's made it's going to be done by Polygon Pictures which I personally haven't heard of are they like a like... I have never heard of whatever Polygon is I think I might have watched the trailer for this mm -hmm. it looks I, I, if I if I remember it correctly, it, the animation did look pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. But you said you uh, did you read all the manga for it? I read like I think I've read. Is it like over or it. is it still continuing every week? Or? Oh, I'm actually not too sure. I think it's already over. Don't don't quote me on that, guys. But um, I do remember it's it was very uh, it's very horror esque, obviously very psychological, um, which is personally I love that kind of style of uh, of anime, like that kind of genre of anime. So. Straight up, I am looking forward to Ajin. Um, what's really gonna, I think, gonna be interesting to see is like how well they're gonna implement that kind of scary art style into animation. So I guess that's something to look out for. Um, I know what you're talking about. I don't think I've read any of the manga for pretty much anything this season. I just have some stuff I'm really looking forward to, but mm. but yeah, that one looks pretty pretty good we'll have to check it out yeah yeah definitely there is uh, a lot of looks like second seasons and third seasons of stuff um things like akagami no shirayuki hime 2 i haven't actually seen the first one but i've heard it's very good um, um i've watched like the first one or two episodes i think i watched the first two episodes of that at least okay. and it was pretty good i i just didn't keep watching it because i had so much other stuff to watch mm. but it definitely it, it definitely had a good story and some pretty good animation, so mm. it, it's probably at least worth a watch. Oh yeah, and especially since like it got a season two pretty quickly, because I think season one came out only like yeah, two seasons did. ago. So yeah, um, yeah it sh it's it's already getting a second season. So I guess I guess this one is going to be good as well. So I mean, you know, Shiroki Hime fans are probably pretty happy about that. And then uh, yeah. right next to that is uh, Assassination Classroom season two, which I am. I think everyone is looking forward to that. Um, well, I, I think I got, um, I know you love it, but I think I've got to like, I don't know, maybe six episodes in or something like that. Mm -hmm. I was just watching so much other stuff, I couldn't continue it, but I definitely want to watch it. I don't think I got to like bench, bitch sensei yet or whatever that is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I heard she was hilarious or, or I don't know, something like people told me I have to watch this, but yeah. so far it was pretty good. Like I don't know. Yeah. The yellow thing is crazy. It was pretty interesting. <laughs> I want to keep. Wa I want to keep watching it. So. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely uh, like I am. Same with Ajin. Like I was a big. I'm a big fan of the uh, the Assassination Classroom manga, and they actually did a pretty good job with like adapting it all, and like the animation was pretty. Uh, it was pretty decent as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, and like it, it obviously you know since it, the manga is very big in Shonen Jump, um, 
I'm honestly not surprised that it got a season two. So it doesn't say how many episodes there's going to be, but I believe the first season had 22 episodes. Oh, really? I didn't know it was that long. Yeah, it had 22 wow, I guess I guess I'm really far behind. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if season two is going to have 12 or maybe it's going to have another 24. Who knows? Um, but I guess we're going to look out for that. Uh, let's see. There's a one uh, done here by A1 Pictures. Um, Satoru Fujinuma is a young manga artist struggling to make a name for himself following his debut, but that was not the only thing in his life that Satoru was feeling frustrated about. He was also living with a strange condition only he was able to experience. So Yeah, I, I, I think I watched the trailer for this. I think me and you are going to like this one. It reminds me of something like Sakurako-san. Okay. Like the the mystery and everything and the animation definitely looked pretty good oh yeah yeah you can't oh, go yeah, wrong with you can't pictures. go wrong with a1 pictures when it comes to yeah the animation and the trailer definitely look good mm. for this i think me and you are gonna enjoy this one okay so i guess people who are uh, fans of sakurako-san which is the one that i guess just ended by the time this video comes out um would probably yeah. enjoy this from the looks of it yeah the next one the gashi kashi this one i'm really looking forward to like i've just seen i've seen people posting about it for like months now so i'm super really? looking forward to it and this uh, I don't know if she's the main girl or not. This purple-haired girl. I've seen her like a million times mm -hmm. now. The, it, it looks like it's... I watched the trailer. It looks like it's going to be really funny. Okay. So I'm looking forward to that one. I haven't... I, come to think of it, actually, I haven't seen a lot of stuff done recently by Studio Feel. Like, they did... They, I don't even know what that is. They did, they did a lot <laughs> of like romantic uh, comedy kind of series like back in like mid-2000s, but I, don't, I haven't heard a lot from them since. So, but Studio Feel have been, uh, are known to have done pretty good stuff, so, um... I mean, the series looks unique, it doesn't look like something that's gonna be super popular, it mm. looks like it's gonna be unique and like, you know, some kind of comedy that some people are gonna enjoy and maybe some people won't enjoy yeah. it, but... Yeah. But I, I think I at least want to try it out, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. What's the next one? The next one? This one, D Divine Gate, mm -hmm. this one looks like it's gonna be super popular, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, because I don't know if you remember like when God Eater was super popular, it was all the hype, but then like, I, don't, I think it was the most dropped anime of that season. Oh, really? Um, so I, I, this could be really good or could not be, I don't know. Um, it looks like it's gonna be like a super popular anime. Yeah, the kind of like the the power up stuff and like the very shonen esque fantasy sci fi yeah, kind yeah, of feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, it, it already like from the art style, it already kind of reminds me a little bit of like um, Akamega Kill. Or that, like that kind of like I guess it's gonna be like that kind of story in my opinion. Um, Maybe I, I I would hope it would have some kind of interesting story because if it's just like. A super standard story i'm not going to enjoy something like this because I, it's it just looks super standard to me you know what i mean what's interesting i saw is that it's based off a video game of the same name okay not off a that. manga or a, or a light novel so geez there hasn't been a lot of fantastic video game adaptations <laughs> of i was thinking yeah, i was thinking that too yeah like you know cough cough god eater so <laughs> you know it's it's gonna be interesting i guess but uh we'll see how they go with that and then next to that they have uh, another season of durara um i personally haven't finished actually the second part of durara yet um even though i'm a big fan of durara but uh yeah i was about to say are, are you a big fan of the series i am i am i do i do like the series very much i actually really really enjoy the original light novel series so if any of you guys haven't read that then i suggest you check it out but even if you haven't checked out durara before then i really recommend it i think it's a, i think it's a really really good uh series to get into and then looks like there's going to be a second season of gate uh which is an anime season that ran i believe two seasons ago um, and was very highly uh, acclaimed by a lot of people in the community. I personally Have haven't seen it? seen it, no. Okay, yeah, I watched, um, I recommended this in one of my top anime videos. Mm -hmm. um, I watched about the first six or seven episodes by that point, and then, I, yeah, again, I was just watching too much stuff to continue watching it, but I definitely want to keep going with it. It's about kind of like, um, these dragons and monsters attack Genza, where this portal opens, and then this main character- It's funny, because this main character is like in the army, but he's the super lazy otaku, like, he doesn't want to go help because he's gonna miss Komiket or something like that, <laughs> but but he has to go through the portal to fight, like, this Romanized Empire, yeah. and um, him and his friends are all joking, like, are we gonna meet some, like, Neko girl or something <laughs> like that when, when they find these people, and they end up meeting, like, an elf girl and a gothic Lolita and, like, stuff like that, okay. so... So it looks pretty interesting, it looks kind of funny, um, 
if you're into that stuff, I guess. Yeah, sure. It, it already sounds... Just from this little synopsis you gave me, I'm, I'm kind of interested to check it out, so uh, I think I might. The next one is Haito Genson no Grimga, uh, which I have actually heard the name of because it's based off a light novel series. Um, I don't exactly know if it's going to be any good or not, but just from reading the synopsis, it kind of smells sort out online-esque. Well, I was going to say something similar to that, but have you watched Don Machi, How to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? I haven't yet, because when that was airing, I, just, I was just way too busy with school. But, oh, okay. Um, yeah. I was about to, how can you miss out on Hestia, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to go back and watch it. No, don't worry, guys. Comments, calm down. I'm going to go watch it. Yeah. Chill out. <laughs> yeah, so this this anime, the trailer pretty much looks just like Don Machi, which you can definitely relate to Sword Art Online. Mm. Um, the main characters are both voiced by each other and voiced by the same voice actor okay. and um i mean it, it kind of takes a lot from it but it's different mm. i mean don machi is its own things but this kind of looks like don machi more than it does sword art online yeah even though they're all three pr pretty similar but mm. the animation definitely looks similar the story definitely looks similar so if you like those which i do i love don machi mm -hmm. i'm so i'm definitely gonna check this out yeah uh, the next one i am definitely going to check out um what is this? Kono Subarashi Sekai Mi Shufuku Guo. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm 100% watching this. If you watch the trailer, uh, let's see. Let's just go ahead and explain it real quick, I guess. So I guess they're going to an alternate world. Uh, Hikikomori, a diehard fan of games, anime, and manga. So if you're watching this series, you're probably already going to love it. And then <laughs> this girl, <laughs> this blue-haired girl, I guess, um, takes him to a different dimension or something like that. Okay. So, um... I don't know how I can put this, but I, I guess you guys will see. Just go watch the trailer and she'll, she'll remind you of what they did with Hestia in a way, I guess. Okay. I would let this girl take me to an alternate dimension, that's all I'm saying. So it's kind of like another, uh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of similar to Danmachi again. N not similar to Danmachi, just... Just Hestia. That's not exactly what I'm saying, because I guess, yeah, yeah, just Hestia. You know how Hestia took the internet over? This girl could do that, I think. Okay. But, um, oh, look, Toei Animation. Uh, they have so much time to work on this because they've done such excellent animation with Dragon Ball Super that <laughs> everyone just everyone just loves it so much. Yeah, and they right. couldn't get enough of more Pericula, so... <laughs> get out of here, Toei. <laughs> Musiagen no Phantom World. I am... 100% watching that. I can usually tell like what's gonna be my favorite thing. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my favorite series. Well, it's, um... it looks good since <laughs> oh, it already is in my good book since it's done, gonna be done by Kyoto Animation. Yeah, it's it's gonna be done by Kyoto Animation. I'm watching uh, Kyokai no Kanata right now, mm -hmm. and obviously Amagi Brilliant Park. Which, funnily enough, this main girl character kind of reminds me of Sento, Sento's best girl, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't I don't know why. Maybe just the animation. But I, not, not necessarily the same personality because, you know, Sinto Super, like, Kudere, Yandere, or whatever. And the whole series definitely kind of reminds me of um, something that, something in Amagi Brilliant Park or whatever. So mm. I definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I don't know exactly what it's going to be about. I think I've just watched the really short trailer, but the animation is, like, spot on. The animation looks freaking amazing. Mm. Um, I guess they're going to be fighting phantoms or something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the animation just looks godlike, so we're gonna have to watch this one. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm definitely interested. I was just reading the uh, synopsis a little bit right there, and it, it looks pretty interesting. Um, and yeah, if it's done by Kyoto Animation, like I'm a sucker for Kyoto Animation yeah. stuff, so yeah, me too, man. I think it's too, I think it's gonna too. be pretty good. So I guess we're gonna look out for that one. And next after that is Prince of Stride Alternative. <laughs> yeah, Madhouse. Oh, which is done um, by Madhouse. So yeah, I, you know, at first I was like, okay, a sports anime, which I don't really want. I don't. Do you watch much sports anime, Joey? I'm very, I'm I'm very picky choosy when it comes to sports anime. There are some yeah. which I like. Yeah, I don't really watch but, like, much, yeah. but. But on the other hand, this is Madhouse, mm. so I watched the trailer for this and the animation looks pretty amazing. I mean, it's Madhouse, so I'm, I actually might check this out. Yeah, yeah, I, I always give Madhouse stuff a go. Yeah, they, it's yeah. very rarely they stab your back with anything. All right, we're moving on to OVA's ONA specials now, um, because there is one here that just completely Sol and I are both super hyped about. Dude, I can't wait for this. Yeah, thing. Koyomi Monogatari. We gotta watch this together. Yeah, we, we're definitely gonna watch this together. Um, if you guys don't know, we're both were huge fans of the Monogatari series, and so super pumped that this is. Geez, what's this gonna be? Ep season eight, I guess. Uh, if you include the movie. 
I'm not sure. I think it's before. I think is this is before the... Suki Monogatari. I think this is the. No, it's before. It's before Awari Monogatari, the one that's airing right yeah, now. Yeah, right? this is the eighth novel, I believe, uh, in the series, and the eighth season. Of I just the mean, anime. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just mean, I just mean where it is in the timeline, like what we're going back to watch. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, th I think it's before Awari is what I was reading. Yes, but yeah, I'm just I'm just super hyped for it, dude. Yeah, yeah. just look at it. It looks sick. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and the other one I'm I might kind of look for uh, look out for is uh the Charlotte TV TV mini, um because I I was a, I really enjoyed Charlotte uh, when it aired um and so I think you know why not I'll check out these TV minis. Uh, it's only one episode it looks like so. Um, I guess we'll check it. It's going to be very, it looks like though, it's going to be very late in the uh, season. Yeah, March the 23rd, so this is going to be very, very late in the season, so. Um, I might keep watching Charlotte. I got like uh, two or three episodes into the first season, and I really like the story. I wasn't crazy about the animation, but I, mm. it was good. Mm. Just, just I mean, the way the characters are animated, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like the, the actual animation was good, mm. but the, um, but the story definitely seemed interesting. Like I kind of wanted to keep watching it. It was again just you know watching too many things. But I might go back and watch Charlotte. That was the winter 2016 anime season initial, I guess, roundup and thoughts. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments below what series you guys are hyped for for next season. Uh, what series you think is going to be good or interesting. And uh, also don't forget to go check out my buddy Soul Animation. I've left the link to his channel in the description below. So definitely go check it out. Yeah, um, if you guys want to let us know like any of the series you're planning on watching, especially if me and Joey are also interested in them, since you know we don't know too much about them. Mm -hmm. But if you guys have seen all the trailers and stuff, I guess let us know in the comments. I might be making a video about um, all the top anime that's coming out in 2016, because this is just for winter, but they have announced a couple really sick anime for 2016. So I might make a video about that too sure. but yeah it was really fun i can't wait to watch some of these especially kizumonogatari oh yeah kizumonogatari is so much hype behind it for both of us so much hype. i'm so excited um but yeah that's that's about it for this initial roundup um anyways guys thanks for watching as always like your favorite if you enjoyed subscribe for more anime banner and i'll see you guys next video whatever i make keep watching anime Ciao.